Hello, and welcome to this overview of how to build a decomposition tree data visualization in Power BI. So the first thing you're going to want to do is, of course, import your data. And we're going to be using this UK bank customer data set, where what it is is a set of information about the customer base at a point in time for the UK bank uh, send, uh, industry. And what we have here, if you click on this box here, is all the data about their name, customer ID, their gender, age, the region of the UK they're from, whether it's England, North Ireland, Wales, or Scotland, the type of job they have, whether it's white collar or blue collar or other, the day they joined the bank and their current balance as of this point in time in the data set. First thing we're gonna do actually before we load the data to build the data visualization is transform the data. What this allows us to do is again, take another look at our data set, but in this particular instance, let's say we wanna round the balance. So sometimes rounding a balance allows us to get a more finite concrete dollar value. Now, maybe we want cents for certain data visualizations, but for this, I wanna round it to the nearest dollar. So I right click on the, the column, go to transform, round, and I'm gonna round up to the nearest dollar, which you normally do with money in a data set. Now this is ready, I just click out. I hit yes, I wanna apply my changes. I apply changes. And what I've done now is I've actually built the data set into the visualization tool to be ready to read that dollar value rounded up to the nearest dollar. Now I'm ready to build my visualization of a, decom a decomposition tree. Always make sure you decompress the fields and make sure all the fields are being captured and they're all there. The decomposition tree is under here. This symbol, you click on that, you get the actual decomposition tree right here to build. Now, what you wanna do is always stretch it out to make sure you have a great opportunity to see it, especially in a decomposition tree, where at times, if you don't stretch it out and make it more wider in the visualization area, you may have a challenge actually reading it, okay? So for this, what we're gonna do is build a decomposition tree on a particular target variable or root node. The ana analyze here is that it's where you're going to place the target data field you want to assess. So for your activity, you will not be doing this particular analyze data field. You'll be picking a different one, but walking through the same steps. I'm going to pick job classification to truly understand this customer base in this data set from a job perspective. So no matter what job they have, I want to learn more about this customer data set. That's analyze. Now for explained by, I want to take a look at three different, and your assignment will be the three different fields to compare against to decomposition to. So I want to look at age, their balance, and let's say the region they're from. So now I have it ready to build out a view of explaining the jobs and the, the ages, their balance and region. So for a decomposition, you must click the plus sign here. Now I can choose between the high and low value of the jobs that are in there based off age, balance, or region. But maybe I want to take it one step at a time and look at age as an example. What this is going to do is regardless of the job they have, the most common and the most age in the data set is 34 years old. Meaning that there are more 34-year-olds in the bank than any other age in the data set. And after that is 36 years old with only 183, and you can see all the way down. This gives you a direct view to find out what is the age group or age groups that we have more of. And you can kind of benchmark that to say those in their uh, mid to late 30s have a higher, uh, you know, as a decision point, as a segmentation tactic. But if I want to go further, I want to know more about this audience, let's say, of the 34-year-olds. Well, the first insight is, yes, out of age, the highest age is 34 years old. But I want to know more about those who are 34 years old. Let's actually hit that plus sign against that age of 34 and look at the region they're from. So it breaks it out further in the decomposition tree. What this is now telling me is that 34 years old is the highest age in the data set. And the majority of them are, of course, from England, Wales second, Scotland, and North Ireland fourth. Now I can make more of a correlation if I now to learn more about my data set and visualize and say 34 is the highest age and the majority of our customers 
who are 34 years old are from England. But we will take it a step further. We're going to build three different uh, explain by. So for England, I want to go a step further. Now I want to look at balance. So for balance, what we have here is our lowest balance is $246. Okay. So we can say that the lowest balance is 246. And if we want to look at the highest, let's take a step back, X out of that. Let's look at high value. Now here we get our highest value customers, right? With values above $10,000. So our correlation could be that the majority of our customers uh, are 34 years old. They're from England and have balances well beyond $10,000. So for them, from the highest income earners, the highest balances in the bank. So that's just one way of looking at it, right? Now, you are going to pick something else besides job classification as analyze. You could do age, region, balance. You could do gender, whichever ones that you want to take a look at from a foundation perspective. Then you're going to bring in three other fields to compare against it and then build out a view just like this to compare to, but you're going to do it twice. So what I just did here with the age of 34, knowing that they're all majority from England and looking at the highest value of balances being well above $10,000 is one insight. And then you'll do it again. You'll actually X out of each of these variables and start with a different one. So that was, that would be your first exercise. You'll do two of these and then you're going to compare and contrast and make a summary. The next is for job classification again. I now want to look at region. So again, England, but now I want to compare England to Wales. So for Wales, I want to look at age. Ah, again, it's 34. It's still the highest, of course. But then after that, it's 33 and 35. So what we're saying here is 34 is the constant between England and Wales as the highest number value for our demographic. But the second highest is 33, but if you remember, England was 36. So there is some of a difference here in the data set, okay? That our target audience is still the highest age number of 34, but then 33 is separate. That's why you're gonna do a visual side-by-side -side comparison as you walk through different scenarios in the explain by to see if there's insights between a certain region or not, or age or whichever two you wanna compare. But for this assessment, I'm comparing England versus Wales. The next is I want to look at 34 and look at income levels. Is there a difference in the in this between the Wales and England audience? Well, actually, I'll go back and do high. Excuse me. The highest is right around that again, fifteen thousand dollar range, but the lowest value is around a thousand. If you remember earlier, we had two hundred dollars approximately as the lowest value. So for this insight, you could say that Wales has a lower population than England in comparison. 34 is still the highest number, of course, of ages, but they actually have a higher minimum balance, right? Their minimum balance is over a thousand versus those that in England have 200. So you have two audiences here you can compare to, draw upon those summaries and insights. And that's what you're going to do. You're going to walk through two scenarios by starting with the same data sets and fields, right? Your analyze stays the same. You'll pick any one of these besides job classification. You'll bring in three explained buys, but then the explained buys you're gonna do you're gonna do two times and compare and contrast two different things. It could be region, it could be age, it could be income level or gender, etc. So once you come up with that, you'll do a comparison discussion. You'll provide screenshots on each view. You should have two views to provide and then write up a brief summary on the comparison between the two. So it's a good idea to take a screenshot of the first variation that you're gonna run in the visualization, set it aside, take a screenshot of the second, and look side by side between the decomposition trees and run your comparison analysis. Whatever insights you derive to are up to you, as long as it makes sense based on the decision tree uh, and decomposition tree visu visually, you'll do just fine, okay? Thanks so much for your time, and I look forward to seeing your results. Take care.